Hello Puzz Puppets, and oh, welcome to the channel. Happy Halloween. Okay, so I had last week off. You would never have known because videos were scheduled as normal and things were scheduled to go on social medias as normal. So it was like I was there and I was in the comments and things. I was still kind of about, but I had a week off. But whilst I was off, the kids were off. It was half term for them. And um, they're back now, as you're seeing this video. No, they're not, because it is evening when you're seeing this video, but they were back today. And um, we will be getting ready now to go out trick-or-treating when you're seeing this video. Which I am filming, by the way, and doing a little vlog because some of the houses are amazing that we're gonna be going to. So there'll be a video tomorrow for you to see of our trick-or-treating um, vlog. So keep your eyes peeled and we'll see, we'll see what sweets we can get from the houses because the, the estate we're going on, they're quite rich, okay? But yeah, so that's what we'll be doing tonight. So keep your eyes peeled tomorrow for, for, for that video, a fun family vlog trick-or-treating. My oldest will be with us, but he's not dressing up, apparently. I will make him. I'm dressing up, am I? I don't know. You'll have to watch the video to find out to see if I dressed up a bit. But today is all about, because I was off with the kids, and I managed to get creative, which is really cool. And we wanted to do our creations, me and my youngest, all based on Halloween. Now, for those of you that don't know, I run another YouTube channel called Fort Spooky and it is Paranormal Investigations. Um, so, and I, I really love ghosties, you know, like these, like ghosts, you know, they're not really like with sheets on and stuff, but do you know what I mean? That, I just love, they're cute, okay? So me and Jamie, you've seen the thumbnail of the family of ghosts, I will show you them um, and talk you through them. Um, there is also another little ghost that you haven't seen, which um, I'm looking at them now and it's so cute and you need to see him, you need to see him. But I've also done some art as well. I'm not an artist, but I got creative and it was so nice to get creative. And um, no, I didn't film myself making them, but I'm here to show you what I did because I didn't want to film last week. I film a lot for both channels and um, I needed a break and I had my break and I'm I'm back, I'm refreshed and I'm all creative out. Well, I'm not, I'm always being wanting to be creative, but I had time to get creative. But if you wanna see what I got up to with these Halloween creations and decor, then keep on watching. And if this is the first time you've seen this face, hello and welcome to my channel. If you love anything fun and magical, then this is the place for you. Join the magic and mayhem, hit subscribe, because I told you to. Also, a massive thank you to my channel members. You guys are awesome. Let's do this. So we're gonna show the ghosts first, okay? <laughs> They're so cute. So these are made out of clay. I will go through and show you one by one. These are just made out of clay. I just got a ball of clay, pinched it to the shape I wanted it. And um, yeah, if you want to do anything like this um, on a bigger scale, I recommend using maybe tin foil or something like that. I've worked with clay a lot. And when I do big creations, I tend to have just a coat of clay over something, if that makes sense, because it does dry a lot quicker and obviously you use less clay. But these are only small ghosties, so they're fine. But we haven't named the ghosts yet. They will have names, but that's ghost number one. We've got ghost number two here. How cute is it? I did paint them white, even though the clay dries white, but just to give it a finish, and obviously added black to the eyes. I'm gonna save my favorite ghost to last that you probably wouldn't have seen, because it's awesome. They're all awesome. They're cute, you're cute, I'm telling you, you're cute. But here's another one. I love the little hands. I was worried that they were gonna be a bit fragile because they're just pinched, but they're all right, and I've dropped one, and he survived, so that's good. And then we've got a little baby one here. I had so much fun. Jamie's made ghosts as well, but we did have so much fun. And this one is cool because he can just sit on a shelf. He can just sit there. His little legs, well, legs, sheet, the sheet, the leg sheet. I don't know what to call it. Just hanging off the edge there. Had so much fun doing these, I really did. Let me show you the other one that I'm really excited to show you. So, here he is. It is a ghost in a jar. This is a pet ghost. Um, we've rescued this ghost, a bit like Ghostbusters, and he's in his little pod with some grass. I don't know why, but I liked the grass, okay? I did see this idea on Pinterest 
last year but I finally got managed to make him myself one Jamie made himself one too again I just did a clay sort of well pinched and molded a ghostly sort of shape um out of clay poked some eyeballs painted them black and painted the ghost white but yeah really enjoyed that we're now going to move on to art and I do actually have a piece of Jamie's art and I'm going to show you it because I really like it there's just something about it but this was Jamie's so he's done like an autumn sort of ground with some fallen leaves we've got a bear tree there but look at his little ghost how cute is that I think I'm going to frame it because it's really really nice he is good he's very creative he takes off to me but yeah that was Jamie's piece of art. He hasn't finished his clay, clay pieces. Um, and I don't know where his other artwork is, but we can look at mine. So, right, where do I start? I think we'll start here. So I did a sketch of a haunted house. Again, I'm no artist, okay? So come at me in the comments all you want. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. This was just a bit of fun. But yeah, so we did a haunted house with a tree and there's a, a tire swing. The grass took me ages to do. But yeah, I really like it. It was fun. And we've got a little black cat there. Absolutely love doing this. Took me quite a while to draw this, I'm not gonna lie. Again, I'm not an artist, so. Not that art is quick. You can't quickly come up with art. Is, it takes time. Okay, so then I want to frame this because I really like it. So I did a church, as you can see, and it's meant to be really run down. We've got trees in the background, a bit of a stormy sky. We've got some grass with some muddy patches and then a path going up to the church. And as you can see, how many ghosts are in there? Yes, there are a one, two, three ghosts. Had to include ghosts because they're Halloween, okay? So I did a creepy picture. We've got some fence going on as well. But I don't know. I really like it. I really like it. And I am proud of myself. I'm not going to lie. Again, not an artist. But I'm proud of this. I am very, very proud of this. Then, what do I show you next? Oh, I'm excited to show you guys. Um, I'll show you this one next. I have framed this one. I am going to frame the church one and have it up in the office because I do really like them. Um, there is another piece of art that I won't be showing you. I had a go at abstract art. It's the first time I've ever tried it. Um, I enjoyed it, but I'm not happy with the piece. So I won't be showing you. I'll show, show, show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. So I had a go at abstract art. It's <sighs> most people that create a piece, it is something. And you have to sort of see it within the abstract art. This is nothing. This is just colours. Um, blacks, blues and white, there is white that's made grey, um, but yeah, I've done a bit of an abstract, kind of reminds me of a forest on a very deep blue sky night maybe, we'll call it a forest, <gasps> the dark forest, the for forbidden forest, that's what we're going to call it, okay, this is a piece of the forbidden forest, I did actually enjoy making, creating this, but um, not keen on it, abstract art is something I'm going to look into more though, because like I said, I enjoy doing it, but yeah, I'm just, hmm. I showed you anyway. Okay, so going back to the one that I have framed. <gasps> How cute is that ghost holding a pumpkin? And we've got a tree and we've got some grass and I did some detailing in the grass. Uh, yeah, I, I really like it. I really like it. I really, really like it. This is just, it was so much fun. I think that's why I end up liking when I've done art because like the church one I really like it it's not the best piece of art in the world or anything far from it but I enjoyed making it and I enjoy getting creative and I think that's why I love it so much when I'm finished because I know that my all's gone into that and everything and um yeah this though was an idea of Pinterest but it's not a copy the ghost holding the pumpkin is on grass and there was a tree but um the layout is the same as the one I found on Pinterest, but I've added my own twist to it. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm not very good at creating things from my mind onto paper. It ends up a mess. I can see it in my head, but I'm, it's hard to get it onto paper. But I think this is why I'm so proud of this one, because this was from my head. So, yeah, I'm really proud of that. And obviously the sketch wasn't. That was completely from line by line, shade by shade. <laughs> off Pinterest yeah I, I enjoyed doing it and then we're going to show you this one I had some log pieces um and I thought okay Jamie let's create on these so I did this so we have got 
I love this so much. We've got a ghost with a toadstool hat. So my thing is, and he's in bushes, he's in grass, and there's, it's night time, there's some stars in the sky. My thing is, if you can see as well, there's a bit of glitter. Can you see the glitter? I'm not sure if you can see the glitter. But yeah, um, my, the story behind this is my ghost is hiding in nature. He's one with nature, okay? He's hiding in nature. That is the backstory of this. The pumpkin one, I don't know. He's bought a pumpkin and he can't find his way home, maybe. He looks a bit lost. I'm not gonna lie, actually. He just look a, he looks a little bit lost. He's like, where, is, where am I going now with my pumpkin? You need to go home. No, stay there, because I need you in the picture. But yeah. I have really enjoyed having the week off, getting creative. Um, we spent oh, two days of getting creative, two and a half days of getting creative, um, which in that time, obviously, I've created all the pieces that I've shown you, and the clay ghosts were done in that half day. And then yesterday, not as you're seeing this, I can't even, I'm confusing myself. But the other day we finished, obviously the clay was all dry. It did take a while to dry. I don't know if it's because it's obviously not the warmest time of year. It might be because of that. And obviously it's quite thick clay. Maybe I should have used tin foil. Never mind, they're dry. They're painted white. They've got black eyes. And I love my ghosties. I didn't know cured. Did you get creative this Halloween? Are you going to get creative today on Halloween? Are you going trick-or-treating? Let me know in the comments. Um, if you have made anything this Halloween, feel free to send me pictures on my social media so I can see because I absolutely love looking at everybody's art pieces that they get creative with or any 3D art like clay art or anything like that. Or if you've got any abstract art that you've done, show me because I am really liking abstract. I just, I've seen lots of it and I'm like... I want to do that and then I tried to be fair as well the card that I use is just kids craft card and it was like really smooth I've got canvases so maybe it would be better on there but the card that I painted this and the church is proper art card and I did notice the difference painting on these to the smooth card where I tried doing abstract so I think it doesn't matter what you're working with, definitely. Same with paintbrushes as well. I haven't got expensive paintbrushes, but I do have some paintbrushes that I choose over other ones. Uh, the softer bristles are easier to work with because you can buy cheap paintbrushes and are they like a nylon? I don't even know. You know what I'm like with materials? I'm really bad. Um, but they're like really stiff and like, they're not like hair. Like the, I like paintbrushes that are like hair, like really soft. Do you like a makeup brush? That sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I, have, I had to show you my art because I wanted to show you what I got up to while I was off. Even though you didn't know I was off. I was very sneaky. Uh, but yeah, again, let me know if you got creative during the spooky season at all. Let me know what your Halloween plans are because I'd love to know. And uh, yeah, I'm actually going to, now I've shown you, get a frame for the church and get these pieces put up somewhere because I'm proud of them I am proud of them and I had fun doing them and it's a memory that I did them with my youngest right we did something together so there's a lot of meaning behind art as well that people probably don't see when they see other people's art there's there's always meaning behind or a story behind a piece of art which I do love about art but yeah I'm gonna go it was so nice to hang out with you guys you know I enjoy your company and I will speak to you all in my next video Bye, Potter Puppets.